for several years now, a bunch of, of oil pipeline companies have been working on a plan to bring tar sands through Maine. Uh, one of those pipelines ends right here in South Portland. This tar sands substance is full of these additional toxic chemicals and putting them onto ships, onto tankers for export, would mean building new smokestacks that would pollute the air and burn off all of these extra chemicals, some of which cause cancer, they cause asthma, and the citizens of South Portland came together earlier this spring to try and, and pass some rules and some zoning in this, in this city to say, we don't want that here. First of all, I think at the beginning, no one even understood or knew about tar sands, or very few of us did. I didn't. And so there's been a learning about this threat and this to our community and to the entire country and globe, and people starting to talk to each other. We collected a core group of people that are still here mostly, who basically eat, dream, and sleep this issue. It's really been a lot of work and it's kind of taken over all of our lives. The work is canvassing, it is phone banking, it is connecting to a lot of people, and so that's what's going on now, is we're on the last day, the last few hours of hoping we win. Right. Thank you very much. I hope it passes. Me too, let's hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Did we get out to vote for the ordinance? We Thank did you already. Protecting that's fantastic. It really is a, a true David and Goliath uh, situation because we don't have the resources, the financial resources, to do what the opposition, what the oil industry has done, but our strength comes from people coming together. I spent over $600,000 trying to defeat our citizens' ordinance. They've lied to people. There is no proposed or pending project to bring tar sands to South Portland. There is no proposed or pending project to build any sorts of stacks on Bug Light. In essence, ladies and gentlemen, this proposed ordinance is not about tar sands. It is about the elimination of these businesses here behind me. So the whole time they've been denying that they want to have tar sands down here, want it to come through, down through the pipe from um, Canada um, via Montreal to us. At the same time, they're going crazy trying to defeat us. Really loud for days and days. Um, the votes are in, and uh, we knew it was going to be extraordinarily close, and it was so incredibly close. Uh, nine votes. Yeah, nine votes. Um, currently, uh, they're ahead by nine votes, and I feel like we've got such a motivated group of citizens here, and we are just going to keep working on this issue until we're sure that South Portland is protected from tar sands. Yeah! yeah. Well, you know, the way I look at it, folks, is we won. Yes. Because I am 100% convinced that Tar Sands is never coming to this community. Yeah. yeah. I have felt it as I've walked the streets. I have felt it as I've talked to my other counselors. And, and tomorrow night, we'll begin the new effort to make sure that Tar Sands never come to this community. And thank goodness to all of you, you have woken up our citizenry. Yes. They are awake. All I can say is it's been fantastic to spend this day with the citizens of South Portland, to spend the last many months with them working so hard to try to protect their town from tar sands and the ill effects of tar sands. And NRCM has been so proud to be standing with them, we will continue to stand with them. There's so much energy here and determination. There is nothing like citizen activism to galvanize a community. I think that this is the most incredible community group that I've ever worked with. Um, and one thing I found particularly inspiring is that the folks in South Portland know that at the end of the pipeline and being the city that's got the authority to regulate infrastructure, they were the only town in Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont that could do anything about this. And so there was um, that weight of responsibility, I think, on people's shoulders, but then also a sense of pride that they could stop this entire transnational tar sands project. That the conversation now is about how, how do we protect the city from tar sands? Um, you know, I think that that's another, a real 
significant outcome from the, the election process was that we've completely changed the conversation in South Portland to being about what does it take to have a permanent protection against tar sands um, because that's what the majority of the city wants yeah and the city council wants. Tar sands, Texas,